Let's investigate a couple of dining options in Phnom Penh on 184 and 240 Street. These are two places I've been to before, but haven't been successful in uh, videoing them. First of all is the Plantation Urban Resort, just a few blocks, a uh, few steps from where I'm staying down on uh, 184 Street, and then we'll make our way up to 240 Street and have a look inside the shop, bakery and bistro, and see what they have to offer. So he's given me the drinks menu and poolside. Uh, yes, that's one of food menu. Okay, let's have a look. What do we have? Crispy calamari, spring rolls, dumplings, smoky Asian skewers, pad thai, campuchia rice, beef lock lak. I had lock lak yesterday. And this is what I've decided on, signature fisher mock, which I believe is the Cambodian national dish. Uh, drinks, probably nothing more than coffee, I would say. But they have a lot. Let's see, we have French Merlot, Australian Shiraz, Californian Pinot Noir, French Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot, Italian. This is a lovely space, and it's so tricky. Mm. I have established that it is a hotel. It's called an urban resort, and it most definitely is. It's deceptively small from the outside, and it's not high rise, but it stretches, stretches back. It looks like lovely little rooms. And, and as you walk in, you walk past, you know, it says outside there's a pool. You, at first you walk through the lotus pond, or past around the lotus pond, and then you go into a little restaurant area with a small pool attached, which I thought was the pool. But no, you have to go in and, depending on which you, way you go in, it can be quite a rabbit warren. And then you come upon this restaurant space and the larger pool. It doesn't tell you that on the outside. So if you want a very comfortable, tropical feeling in Phnom Penh, I would say this is definitely it. One person in the pool and there was one other person in the restaurant, but of course this was the time of COVID. One cafe latte. Flat white? A oh, flat white, yes. yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you. And a little brownie. Peanut brownie possibly. Or chocolate cookie or something like that. It's three dollars for that uh, cafe latte. Not, not bad considering that this place is so nice. Normally, you could expect to pay anywhere from a dollar fifty to two fifty for a coffee like this without the brownie, and the fish is six dollars, which I think again is incredibly reasonable. Well, the co chocolate cookie was passable, and this uh, flat white is very good, very very smooth. So, fish, it's fish. Fish amok. Fish amok. Yes. Wow, that looks incredible. Enjoy your lunch. I will indeed, thank you. Large chili pepper, ginger, onion. It's got to be garlic and a spring onion. Let me get our little veggies here. Ooh. Hot. That seems like some sort of a bun. Maybe it's a, maybe that's the fish. You know, I've been in Cambodia a year, 
And this is the national dish, and I haven't had it yet. Fish is very important in the Cambodian diet. It's the most important source of protein in Cam for Cambodians. Not only coastal fish, but also from Tonle Sap, the largest uh, lake in Southeast Asia, which is teeming with life, and is mainly fished by ethnic Vietnamese Cambodians. I think it might be Vietnamese Cambodians fishing off the coast too. For some reason they've uh, taken up that industry here. And let's see the fruits, let's enjoy the fruits of their labour. Part way through the meal and I can already report that this is absolutely sensational. What an amazing place. Now when I said that it was a rabbit warren, I didn't mean it was disorganised, I just meant there's a lot more to this place than meets the eye, especially from outside. From the outside, it's a very low building, one story. That's what it looks like. But in here, then you come in and you find these spots. Let's just take a view of the um, the pool and the restaurant from here. Cambodians certainly have a lot of style. It's a beautiful architecture here and I don't just mean the, the French colonial which is great or the um, Buddhist architecture which is also great but the, uh, you know, the government buildings and places like this, they've really got style. There's a gym in here. I'm not really supposed to be in here, so I'll get out and go up to reception if I can. Ooh, look, a little garden. Bamboo. Now this place, La Plantation, I noticed there was a plantation in Kip and in, um, Campot, also at that excellent looking old cinema hotel in Campot, so I wonder if they're connected with this. It could be that it's a part of the Cambodian chain. Now we go up here to reception. <coughs> Big shout out to Ernie Gear here. This is definitely a Improvement in the on the environment in Binghampton at the university there. You know what I'm talking about, Ernie, don't you? A little lounge. Oh, and computer workstations too. And here's the other pool and the other restaurant over there. Monthly stay at your new home. Standard room is five fifty a month. The superior room is six fifty a month. The deluxe room with patio is seven hundred a month, and a deluxe room poolside is eight hundred a month. Cleaning, twenty percent discount on spa. Early check in and check out daily breakfast, one hundred and fifty per month. Lunch, two forty per month. Well, you can work all that out. And what do we have? Stay. Stay three days, pay for two. Stay seven, pay for five. Now that sounds pretty good. Deluxe room, 199 US for two people for two nights. That is not bad. Sweet retreat, deluxe room, $89 a night for two people. Plus you get some extra benefits. Executive. $15 per person per night. And so on, Explorer Deluxe Room, $179 for two people. Plantation, thank you. Oh, I'll get the picture of that. Artwork. And we come out from reception to the Lotus Pool. And that's the street out there. And there's an art gallery around here these are by an expatriate American. Not really my style, so I won't linger on them. Well, that one there may be.
sort of urban Phnom Penh, really, I'd say. Getting some of the, the chaos that's around in the city. Not everywhere, of course. This is the smaller pool. And when you're coming in off the street, that's what you see. <clears throat> and I had, when I first came in, I thought this was the pool where you get to swim for an $8 meal. But the actual pool is back over there, behind that area there. And this is the original French colonial administrative building that was restored, I think, in 2011. Thank you, sir. That fish was fantastic. Yes, sir. Oh, one of the best meals I've had in Cambodia. Yes, sir. Good value, too. Yes, Thank you very much. Yes, Have a good day. And you, too. Oh, a little private meeting room. With some more artworks. Honestly, if you had to go into managed isolation somewhere, I would say it would be hard to beat this place because there's lots of areas, interesting places to walk around uh, within the complex. Plus, you know, with the gym, the two pools, two restaurants. Just full of, full of Khmer style. We've made our way up from 184 Street or Street 184. Through the shop, Bakery and Bistro on Street 240. Now, what do we do here? Have to do this. Completed all those formalities. I know what I'm going to get because I've had it twice before but I've been unable to film it or video it the two previous occasions so what we're going for now is consistency I had it once a year ago and once last week I'll get the salmon steak please yes. and just water thank you uh, where does the salmon come from uh, Norway. But in Cambodia, we order by company LSA. Okay. 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 Thank you. So Norwegian salmon, possibly. Salmon steak. And what's that sauce? Uh, we do with the mustard. Mustard dressing. sauce. Okay, mustard. Oh, French mustard? Enjoy. Yeah, I will, thank you. So, little salmon steak with mashed potato and veggies. And we should just put some mustard sauce on there. Oh, and some lime. One thing I've 
always forget to say, even though we're in Cambodia right now, but in Vietnam, they're called limes lemons. So if you ask for a lemon, you may get a lime. Now, how good is this? How good is it? We'll just start with humble mashed potato, which is very, very light. It's not dry, and it's not fluffy, and it's not dense. A little bit chunky, but oh, it's gorgeous. And the truth is, this meal, even the potatoes, are absolutely sublime. Mm. So although it's right at the top of the price range for what I'd pay for food in Cambodia, it's definitely worth it. And look at that huge piece of Norwegian salmon. Doesn't get better than that. The question we ask ourselves as we gaze at these bean sprouts on the side of the salmon is, is this consistently good? Yes. Is it consistently great? Yes. Is it consistently sublime? Yes. It costs US $14.75. And finish it off, it just gave me fresh chocolate, it's very hard, made in Cambodia. You know what? you got to love Cambodia. Love Cambodia. With the shop, Belgian chocolate made here. So, that was beautiful chocolate, rich and creamy, maybe a little bit sweet. Chocolate doesn't have to be sweet, but it usually is. There's some tuk tuk drivers. Can I get past them without them offering me a ride? Yes. So, thank you for watching. And please remember to subscribe to this channel. And when you click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a little bell. Click that too. It's a notification button, so every time I upload a video, you'll get a notification. Whether you watch it or not is entirely up to you.